Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk specifically about the steepness of lines and how to determine uh, whether one line is steeper than the other and how we're going to do that. Okay, uh, so we're going to do this first bullet point here. Use the slope of linear functions to determine which line is steeper. Okay, so let's review the slope formula real quick or the definition of slope as well, kind of. All right, so we're going to use the variable m for slope. Uh, first thing we learned was that we could do rise over run. All right which led us to the change in y over change in x, which led us to the actual slope formula, okay, which was the difference of the y-coordinates of two points that are on a line divided by the difference of the x-coordinates in those two points that are on the line, okay? So let's talk about steep versus flat. So a line slope is going to be the measure of its steepness, okay? As the absolute value of the slope increases, the line gets steeper. Okay, so the greater the absolute value of the slope, the steeper the line. Okay, as the value, absolute value of the slope decreases, the line gets flatter or less steep. Okay, well, if you think about it, a horizontal line has a slope of zero. So the closer the absolute value of a slope of any line gets to zero, the flatter that line must become. The farther we get away from zero, meaning the slope is increasing, Okay, the absolute value of the slope is increasing, then the steeper the line is going to be. Okay, so to determine which line is steeper, you want to compare the absolute values of the slopes. Okay, so if we've got two lines, like we do in example 1a here, we've got two lines, we have to find the slope of each line, and then we're going to compare the absolute values of those slopes. The slope that has a greater absolute value, okay, is going to be the steeper line, all right? So what I want you to do right now, pause the video, try to do example 1a on your own here. Try to use rise over run or the slope formula, it's really up to you, to find the slope of the solid line and then to find the slope of the dashed line, all right? Figure out the absolute value, because remember, this one's gonna be positive because it's rising from left to right. This slope's gonna be negative because it's falling from left to right. Okay, so it's not just about, you know, the positive one's always going to be steeper. No, we're always going to compare the absolute values. Okay, so pause the video here. Find the slope of this line. Find the slope of this line. Compare their absolute values and tell me which line is steeper. Okay, so let's look at the solid line here, okay? Uh, we want to pick a couple points that we know the coordinates of. Okay, so we've got that x-intercept there, Okay. And it looks like that point goes right through the grid lines there, okay? So what I can do, remember, I can draw my rise over run triangle. So I've got a 3 there, and I've got a 1 there, okay? So the slope of the solid line is going to be 3 over 1, okay? 3 over 1, okay? Now let's look at the dashed line. The dashed line, I can see, well, the y-intercept... Is going to be right here, okay? The x-intercept looks like it goes right through there. Okay, so I can do the rise over run triangle here, okay? So the vertical change or the change in the x is going to be 3. The horizontal change is 5, but remember it's falling from left to right, so that's going to be negative 3 fifths. Okay, so negative 3 fifths. Let me get rid of that. It kind of looks like a negative down there. So let's make that a negative three-fifths, okay? So when we're comparing these to figure out which one's steeper, okay, the absolute value of three is three, okay? The absolute value of negative three-fifths is positive three-fifths, okay? Remember, absolute value is a distance from zero. Distances are going to be positive. So this absolute value is three-fifths, which is 0 0.6, 0 0.6, okay? So 3 is obviously greater than 0 0.6, so the solid line is steeper than the dashed line, okay? And you could probably tell that by looking, but sometimes you won't be able to tell by looking, and you need to be able to compare those absolute values, okay? So let's go back to the notes real quick, and we'll do one more example. Okay, so like we said with the graph, the solid line has a slope of 3, the dashed line has a slope of negative 3 fifths, so the solid line would be steeper because 3 which is the absolute value of positive 3 here, is greater than 3 fifths, which is the absolute value of the slope for the dashed line, okay? So the solid line is steeper. All right, 
Let's look at B here. We've got two lines. Line one passes through these two ordered pairs. Line two passes through these ordered pairs. Now, if you have graph paper, if you want to draw a graph, you can do what we just did with the rise over run, okay? But obviously, we'd prefer to use our slope formula since we're given these two ordered pairs, okay? So we want to find the slope of line one. We want to find the slope of line two. And then we'll compare those absolute values uh, and we'll see which line is steeper. So line one, we've got y. So y2 is 7. y1 is negative 1. So we're going to subtract those two in that order, 7 minus negative 1, okay? In the denominator, I've got my x-coordinates, negative 4 minus 2, okay? So negative 4 minus 2. Okay, simplify the numerator and the denominator, you get 8. Okay, so 7 minus negative 1 is like 7 plus 1, which is 8. Negative 4 take away 2 is negative 6. We always want to simplify any fractions, so 8 over si uh, negative 6 is going to be negative 4 thirds. Okay, so the slope of line 1 is negative 4 thirds. That means that absolute value is going to be 4 thirds, or about 1.333 if you want to make it a decimal, okay? Line two, let's plug those values into the slope formula. We've got our y-coordinates in the numerator, so negative one minus two, okay? Negative one minus two, okay? And in the denominator, we subtract our x-coordinates, one minus five, one minus five. Simplify both numerator and denominator, we get negative three over negative four, okay? A negative divided by a negative is positive, so that is positive three-fourths. Okay, already positive, so that absolute value is going to be the same, 3 fourths, or 0.75, okay? So that should let you know that line 1 has a greater absolute value, okay? So line 1 is going to be steeper because the absolute value is 4 thirds, which is greater than this absolute value of 3 fourths, okay? So line 1 would be steeper. And that's how you determine the relative steepness of any, you know, two lines or more. Uh, using the concept that absolute value being greater means the line is steeper. Absolute value being smaller means the line is flatter. Okay, and that's it.